Hello everyone, welcome to Tiny Step YouTube channel. In this video, let me show you how to do natural logarithmic transformation in SPSS software. Well, sometimes our data is not normally distributed, and to can use the data properly, we have to do a modification. One of the most popular way is doing natural logarithmic transformation. You can actually do this in SPSS easily. First thing that you have to make sure is your dataset must not contain zero value because there is no transformation for zero value. Next, go to transform compute variable. Here at the target variable, let's make the new name of your variable. Let's make it for len underscore GPA and let's make the label for this variable and space GPA. Okay. And then at the numeric expression, this is where we type the function that we can use to transform the data. And let's search the function in the function group field. Here, let's click all. And at the bottom box, see uh, that ln function here. Delete it and double click it. Delete the question mark here. And then click the GPA and move it to the brackets. And then click OK. Great, now you are successfully doing natural logarithmic transformation of your data. Another question is, what if we find this number in natural logarithmic form and we want to undo the process and make the numbers into the initial value? Okay, you can also do this by using the exponential function because the exponential is the inverse of natural logarithmic. So go to transform, compute variable, Let's click reset option because SPSS memorized the previous test. And at the target variable, let's write our new name of the variable. Let's make it for GPA2. And let's make the label GPA2. Okay. And then at the numeric expression, let's search the function to inverse the natural logarithmic form. Let's search xp or exponential here double click it remove the question mark and put the natural logarithmic variable into the bracket and then click ok great you are successfully undo or inverse the process of the natural logarithmic into the initial value of the data another question is what if we put zero at the data set what spss will do to the data Let's try it. Let's make it 0, 0, and 0. And let's transfer, let's transform this data into natural logarithm. Transform, compute variable. Let's reset this all. And let's make the variable name, one underscore GPA3. Search the uh, natural logarithmic function, ln function here double click it remove the question mark and move the variable that contains a zero value okay great now click ok you will see that spss only give a dots here that means it has no value at all because spss cannot transform this zero value into natural logarithmic form and that's how mathematics works that's it see you in another video